Mom. this and what does it have to do with you? <laughs> Mom? you the courage and fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. Sorry. Mm. Oh, oh. Igwe. Igwe. When did you start drinking? Start. Boy, it's gonna end this night. What are you talking about? What will end? She's not the stand. who our father is. Boy, not like this. Please, please put down the knife. Please, mom, mom will tell us everything yes. we need to know, but please put down the knife. Step aside, Sly. Step aside. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. For the past 28 years, this woman has been deceiving us, telling us about a father who lives abroad. Who the hell is this man who never calls who never returns home to see his children. I can't take this anymore. Every day, I face the insults from my friends calling me a bastard. What do I tell them? How do I prove them wrong? Boy, I'm calm down. I'm you. I'm you. You're not bastards. You are not. Then who the hell is he? Then you have to tell us who our father is. Tell us and see what's the body is It's becoming too unbearable. Us. 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 Us.
Seu pai é de culpada. Oh, my God. What is she talking about? Free. This was one of the photographs we took together before the divorce. Roy, you were two and a half years old. A sly six months old. When we parted ways, six months after our divorce, his father died. And he had to leave for his hometown to ascend the throne. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my children. So why didn't you go back home as well? I couldn't swallow my pride. Why, Mom? Why? Don't you think you would have another family by now? I'm afraid so. Why? Why didn't you tell us all this while? Who will believe us now that he is no more to clarify things? Who? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my children. I was planning to tell him the truth before I heard of his sudden death. I wasn't thinking that he would die so soon. I wasn't thinking towards that direction. I'm sorry. So, Papa, he goes from my dead. Yes, my son. And that is the main reason of my asking you to leave what you're doing in the city to come back to the village. I still don't understand. Why? Yes. Our people say that you sell your young band when something greater than the farm crops up. What could this be? The kingship of this kingdom. Or wouldn't you like to become the next hero of this kingdom? Papa, I still not understand you. Well, you know that the late Iwe has no head to the throne. That means that anyone that marries the princess definitely becomes the next hero of this kingdom. And I, your father, I know how intimate you are with the princess. I want you to seize this golden opportunity and propose to her. Should she agree to marry you, definitely you are the next king of this kingdom. That is not possible. The late king has no male child. Fine. The king should simply move down to the MS ways. They have the same blood. Okay, the Onohu is there to take over the kingdom. It is not true, my son. Onohu has no right to the kingship. He is just a stepbrother to Zurumba. And the kingship rotates within the Zurumba family. Fine. I don't see the possibility of me becoming the king simply because I'm getting married to the princess. It is very possible. We are the custodians of the custom of this land. And we know how to fix things. Onu might be aspiring to the throne, but he will not get it. I will always be there to oppose him. Just play your own part and leave the rest to me. The sudden death of a father did not happen to God on our words. He was a great man, and posterity will always remember him for that. 
forever he will live in our hearts. So please, you just have to clean up your tears and stop crying, okay? I left all I was doing in the city to come and come straight with you. Because if there's any time to show you how much I care, this is the time. Please, do not hesitate to reach me anytime you need me. Call on me, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. who your father was I said I was sorry I was sorry for not telling you early enough please stop behaving strange I'm sorry please Mama, Mama, Mama you must admit that you made a very big mistake for keeping the truth from more of all this while why you have no reason for that you will never you will never ever realize the troubles you put us through. You will never. I forgive you. But that is when you take us to our father's people and state out your claim before them and they accept us. I will. I promise I will. Please. Just arrived. <laughs> Would you calm down? You, gosh, that's a lot of noise. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead and scream. That's all right. <laughs> oh yeah, the flight was it was smooth, very smooth. Yeah. Oh, we're in the hotel you recommended. Yeah, from 106? Yeah, 106. Oh, Ike Jr. is fine. He's sitting right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ike Jr., Andy Felicia says hi. He heard you. All right, so tell me, when are you coming? When are you getting here? Why not today? Oh. Okay. No, it's, it's fine. I'll see you tomorrow then. No problem. Okay. <laughs> I will. I will. You bet. Bye. Now, come here. Give me your hands. Welcome to your fatherland.
<laughs> Woman, I am sorry to say you don't know what you are talking. Eh? There was no way our ego would have had a wife and two sons elsewhere without confiding in anyone. Eh? However, he wanted to make it confidential. The ego would have disclosed it to me, his honor, his right hand man, his most trusted. Or alternatively, his wife here, Lola. Lola here. Okay, Lola. Was there any way the ego hinted you about this situation? Of course not, no. He never said a thing like that. So how can you come in and claim that we were had two sons with you? Uh, oh no, I just told you nothing but the truth. He was my legally wedded husband. And these two boys here are his sons. They are his biological sons. And I have all the evidence. The wedding certificate and some... Uh, don't go there. Don't try to go there at all because certificates can be forged. Signature can be forged. It was true the Igwe was looking for an heir apparent. But that shouldn't give you the opportunity to come from nowhere now. Claiming Igwe had two biological sons with you. It's not possible. It cannot happen. It's not true. Open it, Zoku. Eh? Oh no, Niche. Let's go and get some water. You want to talk about me? We will soon be back. No. You can't deceive us. He won one other ball of money. Huh? This is from nowhere. Nah, 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 What surprising news. Oh. There was no atom of truth in that woman's story. Hmm. She only came to read where she did not so. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah? And that's what I was trying to prove to all of you. She's lying. She told a lie. Let's not conclude so quickly. This case needs to be handled with caution. Exactly. That was why I called us out here to look deep into this matter. With what I've seen so far, I believe that Uma was telling the truth. Well, let us <laughs> let us try what? <laughs> let us try what? There was no truth in that woman's claim at all. Forget the certificates. Forget the photograph she came with. They were all made up by her. Oh no. Did you say the Igwe? By any means, did not confess such a thing to you? Igwe did not. That woman was telling a lie. <sighs> How could Igwe have sons outside without telling me his right hand man? Oh no. How could he? It was true he was looking for an heir apparent for the throne. But not to the extent of doing it very secretly. I should have known. So what you were saying is not possible. It can happen. Hmm. It's not possible. Eh? Hey! Igwe and Wala Balumiri. Igwe and Wala Balumiri. Igwe and Wala Balumiri. Eh? Igwe and Wala Balumiri. Hmm. Madam, you have to go with your children to enable us investigate your claim. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay? Hello. The man in question was a man of affluence and influence. He made much impact on the society. As a matter of fact, he was the head of all the kings in Southeast Zone before he died. Yeah, that's what he told me. I also heard he had no heir to the throne. So, get ready to be the mother of the next king. Do you see that happening? Babe, it's very possible. Because you have a son for him. 
His wife had no male child. So, get ready to be the queen. But yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Ikki Jr. is too young to be the king. Doesn't matter. That's nothing. Someone can be on the throne for him till he grows up. That's their custom. You will only find it difficult if your relationship with him wasn't legitimate, but you said it was. Damn straight it was. We had a cut marriage. And way back in London, most of the investments he had was made out in my son's name. Also, he was the one that named my son after him. Ike Junior, serious. Yeah. Be count yourself lucky and favored. What are we talking about here? Hey, babe, let me tell you. Just prepare your mind because it's not going to be an easy task. Especially now that he's not here to clarify things. Except if he told them about you before he died. Hmm. Well then, we'll cross that bridge when we we'll get there, innit? You're right. I'm happy for you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you, baby. That will never happen. Not why I'm alive. Those people are nothing but gold diggers. The fact that dad had no male child doesn't warrant them to come from nowhere to claim their roots here. It's never gonna work. Even the chiefs cannot change that. Favor. Take it easy. I mean, let's not conclude yet. Choma, you can never be too sure about that. Those boys will not step foot into this house. They will not step foot into my husband's house. Never. No. What exactly are you saying? What I'm saying in effect is that this matter is not worth being put into consideration. It's not worth taking our precious time. That woman and her children are nothing but cheap gold diggers. Yes, I hope you know. It's not possible for a woman to come from nowhere with such a claim if nothing happened between her and our little way. It's possible, very possible. That means you don't know how desperate and tactical they can be. But not to the extent of laying force accusation on the supreme ruler of this our great kingdom. Achebe, I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. I see this is with you. Oh no. Is she actually? It is very possible. Especially now that Yigwe is no longer here to defend himself. I don't care whatever plan you people are hatching. But I am here to tell you that I am not ready to accept a nobody in my husband's house. Either in the name of husband's wife or stepchildren. That will never take place in my house. So if you know how much they gave you, to help them achieve their selfish desire. You go back and give them back their money. Because that would not happen in my husband's house. This is not a threat, but a strong promise. Lolo, Lolo, come here! Come back here! Come back here, let me tell you. Igwe, I'm going to tell you. Igwe, I'm going to tell you. I believe it when my father came back from and told me about it. I mean, it's not possible. It is just so obvious these people are claiming their Ruth simply because the lady lived in the house with child. My love, I'm not worried about it because the elders have said they will look into the matter. Well, you should do something about it yourself. You have to do something. Well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed until the elders decide. Hmm? Mom, as early as tomorrow morning, we're packing our baggages to the palace. We can't sit and wait here indefinitely. That's what we've come to tell you. I agree with Roy. We're going there first thing tomorrow morning. There's no two ways about it. You can't do that. They asked us to give them some time. Some time? Yes. And when is some time? It could be the next 10 years. It could be the next generation. When is some time? That's not possible. Now, please 
my children. Let's try and be patient, please. Patient. Mom. For a good 28 years, we've been patient. We can't spend eternity waiting for these people. We've made our decision and we will carry it out. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are we doing in our father's house? Huh? Oh, we've come to stay in our father's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please take us to our chamber. Please. Thank you. Dad. Yes, ma'am. Get me the no immediately. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Fast. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? I thought we asked people to give us time to conduct our search on this issue. What is happening? Um, oh no. Um, nine, you know. Well, you said something like that. But we don't just have the time to give to anyone. Uh, we believe that our mother has given you all the evidence that you need. But you insisted on carrying on with your own search. We're not against that. But what we are simply saying is that while the search is going on, give us shelter in our father's house. That's all. Whose father are you talking about? I'm Igwe Ike mm -hmm. Our father. What boldness. Okay, okay, okay. Supposing the result of our search does not favor you. What happens? Oh, we will gladly accept to be thrown back to the street. I can't believe this. You mean those people have been given an apartment in the palace? <laughs> yes, my son. But that does not mean they have succeeded. But Papa, you don't understand. Not why they've entered already. They have entered the palace. But they are still there like strangers. We know why we allow them in. They are still strangers until they are proof, right? And that possibility is very, very remote. You don't understand. What I'm saying is this. You people shouldn't have allowed them into the palace at the first place. Now you don't even know their place. You don't go and find it. Only God knows what they're up to. So we know what we are doing. Don't tense yourself. Don't think we are fools. We know what we are doing. I assure you. Your search for all I can. The most important thing is that we are in our father's house and no one can kick us out. Word, bro. Word. See, yeah, the truth of this matter is we've won. There's no two ways about it. I mean, I can go to hell for all I care. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oof. Whoa. Ah. You know, the next step now is how to work on Lola and her daughters. We need to gain their love and respect. Bro, please. I mean, why does that even bother you? They can be my best of enemies for all I care. I don't give a damn. No, 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 you have to. You have to, guy. You have to. They're not part of you and you need their love. It's one big family now. When is mom coming over? I think that's what we should be talking about right now. Tomorrow. 
Except she wishes to extend it. But that's up to her. Go to the home. Home. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, babe. In a couple of hours, it's going down. And I'm prepared. Okay. You said you're Ellen George, the daughter of Williams George, a businessman based in London who hails from a Nobi, an Umbra state. Yeah. And that uh, with the Igwe, you had a song with the Igwe, Igwe Zurumba. Exactly. Was it act of wedlock? Oh, hell no, 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 no. See, we were married. We had a cut marriage way back in London. And that's the marriage certificate I just showed you. You know, y'all can take turns and look at it. It's authentic. So, the late Igwe, my husband, he proposed marriage to me and he promised to give me half of his assets if I could give him a son. And that was because at the time he was desperately in need of a son. And I gave him a son. Now the problem is, he never got around fulfilling that promise before he died. Did he tell you he had a family back in Nigeria? Mm-hmm. Two families? Oh please, he told me he had a family, I don't know how many. So, why did you go ahead to accept his proposal after being told he already had a family? Oh, darling, I sincerely hope you're not talking to me. What an insult. Now, listen attentively. All of you, if this is your plot to deny us of everything our father left for us, it's not going to work. We're still on the matters of these cockroaches that appeared from nowhere. You suddenly introduced this plot to us. It's obvious that people have connived against this family, but I promise you, it's not going to work. Never. You just called me a cockroach? No, he'll... I think this girl is it. Rohe! Those words of hers were rather too strong. Why must she be fighting against those who are trying to protect their interests? Imagine the kind of insults she heaped on us. You see? You see? Imagine. She's just a young lady that doesn't know her left from her right. That's why you should learn to ignore that. One thing we must not fail to do is to get to the root of this matter. Root of which matter? You tell me, root of which matter? What makes you think that girl was telling the truth? Hmm? Let me tell you, she must have been one of our girls who left this land for prostitution in a foreign land. Yes. And the child she was talking about must have been a product of that prostitution. And she now wants to confide royalty on a bastard because of one or two shady deals she had with the bastard. It cannot work. No. I think I disagree with you. How? You were so close to Igwe. And you know that one of his weaknesses was women. I think that lady might be telling the truth. There's no atom of truth in her claim. None at all. None at all. Let us not too fast. Let us do something to get to the truth of the matter. You go on another body. We have to get to the truth. Well, the John the truth. You go on another body. Now you know. Ndichi. My children are not going for any DNA test. Agreed. My husband had a huge appetite for women, but not to the extent of sleeping with any whore that came his way. Not to that extent. And who are we talking about here? You, of course. 
You are the her. Excuse me, ma'am. I have respected you enough. I have had enough of you. You say shit to me one more time. I will drop kick your ass into 42. How dare you? How dare you blunt such a threat on my mother? You good for nothing, ugly short thing. How dare you blunt such a threat on my mother? Do you want me to teach you? Before? Leave me alone, Febo. Don't even think about it. No, girl, sit your butt down. Come on. Don't you dare talk to my elder sister like that. You slut. <laughs> Why y'all tripping? Because I screwed your daddy and now what am I? I'm your stepmommy. <laughs> Elvis, in the name of God and in the name of all the sounds right, you better tell those fat ass men and the daughters that are tall like a tree not to call me names. And you say one more bullshit to me and I will show you how much evil I can be. And if they call you those names, what would you do? Ma'am, you are just shameless. Do you know that? Not only do you not have a son for the king, and that's why he came to me and I have a son for him. You have the nerve to call me a slut. You know what you are? You're a bitch. What? You heard right? A big bitch. What say I am stuck on it? What you want to do? You want some of me? Igwe Anwala Balumbele. This whole thing is becoming more serious than I ever expected. These people, how did they even find their way to this place? I thought that. Uh, 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 uh. I'll do everything to stop them from succeeding. They will never succeed. Never. You go and wala bottom with it. Ichi Achibe, I have made my point, and my decision is final. My children are not going for any DNA test with anybody. What for? Please, my queen, I crave your indulgence to play series with us. This is a serious issue that needs to be sorted out. And the only way out is the DNA test. This is to clear the paternity of these children. What I am going to promise you, if at the end of the day, we are not satisfied with the result, we the High Chiefs will carry out the search in our own way. Please. What is she? What is the possibility that my father could have had another family and kept it to himself until his death? My princess, many things could have led to that. But my queen, I don't know if you were the last person that saw the way in his lying bed before he died. No. It was a no. But Ono who said he never mentioned a thing like that. That is why I'm trying to clear things in our own way. Let it not be that we are indirectly rejecting the Igwe's blood. The gods will not forgive us. Please, my queen, just for the benefit of that, please be good. DNA test results are out. Okay, let's hear it. That's why we're here. Their blood samples are quite compatible. They're his children. It's a lie, doctor. You lie. It can never happen. It's this woman okay. can never be my brother. He has been raped. Princess, calm down, calm down. We shall clear every doubt. Please, doctor. Thank you. I will take back the message to the elders in council that delegated me to this meeting. Thank you.
The Odara never falls far from the tree. Its blood runs in their veins. They are his sons. Yes, all of them. Great one. Are you sure of what you are telling us? Ah! Are you questioning the wisdom of the gods? How dare you? Great one. We have heard you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Great one. Go get money to your wife. Over number is a jacket and under one. Hey, I'm not going to get you to know how to do it. This is a disappointment. I can't believe this. You were the one that brought me into this whole thing, and now you want to abandon me at the middle of the road. Papa, you are the one that encouraged me that I should leave what I was doing in the city to come down to the village to take what right me belongs to me. And look at what you're telling me now. It is so, my son. Because things are no longer what they seem to be. They have taken a new turn. The people we thought were impostors are now proved to be the true sons of the way. What are we still finding? Father, that is for you. That is for you. The truth is that people have lost. And I think from now on, I will take up this issue and handle it the way it should be wrong. My son, stay away from anything about the Igwe ship of this land. I am warning you. Stay away. Chibikem. Chibikem. I am shouting for the whole world to hear my voice soon. Does it mean they will legitimately welcome into the palace as members of the royal home? That's what you say. No! Why should I just make such a word declaration? I mean, it's unfair. Yeah, they oh, 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 oh. So these are the gold diggers. What these are they calling themselves as priests? What is wrong with you? You want to fight me? Come on, come on. Fight. Fight. I will strike your head. Fight. That's fine. This freaking cool thing. Come on, man. This stupid empty vessels make the most noise, boy. Just come down. You want to fight me? No, I won't. Can you believe it? You will to fight me. I'm scared. So, babes, that is the whole story. Honestly, I have to admit, it was not an easy ride. <laughs> but I told you. I told you. Well, I'm happy you won. Yeah, I won. <laughs> but, um, those other people, did you believe their story? Kinda. I mean, there may be some truth in all of what they said, but that don't mean I admit it in front of them. Hell no. You see, in here, it's like, it's like a race. Right? It's like a jungle. It's a fucking competition. And only the fittest survive it. And I know I'll survive. Of course you will. Certainly. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, defense is always the best form of attack. <laughs> yeah? I don't follow. What? Okay, listen. My son. Your brother is the first child of this entire household. That truth.
true belongs to him. And that is the bone of contention here. I want you to do everything possible to ensure that he sits on it. I've heard you, Mom. Thank you, my son. I'll never let what Father left us slip away. It's a promise. Thank you, my son. Good. I like that. Mom, don't you think that way is going to be the solution to this? How? <laughs> Let's invite Barrister Fabian to read the will to everyone's hearing. With its content, we'll know if these people are truly that's children. Honestly, I thought of that earlier on. But the problem is that Barrister Fabian has been out of the country for a while now. And the chiefs would not permit that. Thus, they will first of all want your father's corpse to be committed to Mother Earth. And all the burial rites fully performed before that. Okay. What if at the end of the day, the will is read and these people are out of it? That means they are nothing but imposters and they will be shamefully thrown back to the streets where they belong. What else? <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> wow, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Igwe, 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 Ichi Atube has messed up everything for me. Everything. Wait, wait. But I can still turn the situation to my advantage. At least to make some good money. Yes. I can. I can. What's your name again? Uluma. Uluma, yeah. What's up? These are the beads I was assigned to give to you. Oh, yeah, beads. Let me see that. Uh, I love it. It's quite a lot. Yes. I know you like it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Let me give it. One more thing. I'd like to see you again, so you come back here in, say, three hours. Yes, Your Majesty. All right, then. Yeah, you see, um, what I'm saying in effect is that we should not feel as if um, everything is over or that we have lost. No. The battle has just begun. Oh, but um, there are many people out there who are planning to take what value belongs to you. And if care is not taken, they may succeed. Uh, but, but, Uncle, you can still help me. Yeah, of course I can help you. But the purpose of this talk is to I'll show you my desire to help you. Uh, don't forget that I was the one who made you stay in that palace. In reality. And I can possibly make you assume the throne only if money is made available to a sort of uh, certain things. And you are the throne. That's it. Well, well, well. You mean you're asking me for money before I can have the throne? Yes. What's wrong with that? Which soup can you ever make without money? Good soup? Yes. Never. Eh? Never. I can never bribe my way to that throne. It 
throne that rightly belongs to me. It's the throne of my father and I must assume it. Not until I say so. And who are you? I am the owner of Ono Wemes Wakako, the mouthpiece of Amawu Kingdom, and nothing works in the palace without my express permission. Let me tell you, I can make what you think you are seeing turn into a mirage. Nobody can stop me from assuming that you. Is that what you are saying? Loud and clear. Let's see. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> You were a no other valumi. Hey, hey, hey! You were a no other valumi. Yes, Your Majesty. Here. Take it. What for your majesty? For your mother's drugs? Uh, don't worry. I have my ways. And come on. Take it. Go on. Good girl. Thank you very much, your majesty. Thank you. You're welcome. You deserve it. You have been exceptionally good to my son and I ever since we stepped into this palace. And we appreciate you a whole lot. Now, best believe that there will be more precious gifts like this from me to you. As long as you are my eye in this palace. You do know that you are more acquainted with this terrain more than myself. So, you keep those ears of yours to the ground. Gather every teeny weeny information that you can get. And then, you relate all of it to me. You can do that for me, can't you? Ulama, please, do this for me. And I will always be there for you and your family. Mm? Think about it. I'm sure you're a wise girl. In the light of the promise you just made to me that you will make sure that those people leave the palace. Have this check for five million naira. For you. And when that happens, I don't need to tell you what the reward will look like. <laughs> hmm. My sweetest win. Long long kembo. Nakebazo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. You see, one thing with me is that I don't like blowing my trumpet. I always want my actions to speak for me. <laughs> Good. By throwing this spoon, you can now relax and watch how the dog will battle the spirits. Yes. You see those your opponents in the palace? They are going to run away. They are not only going to run Ben Johnson, but also with the balls. <laughs> okay now, sir. No, no. <laughs> it will happen. Oh, this is cool. This is wonderful. Good God. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, eh? Thank you. Oh, you're going to 
I still find your sauce in my kingdom, huh? Come on, man. You guys should go back to wherever you're coming from, okay? No, 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 no. So let me advise you guys. Come back to wherever you're coming from. Otherwise, what is it this land's gonna take your head? Come on, boy. Go back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you wanna beat me up, huh? <laughs> bro, you better go back to wherever you're coming from, okay? Just be a good boy, right? Let's go. Good boy. Let's go, right? as a mother to keep him under your care. Oh, really? Yes. You left him running around the whole palace, messing everywhere up to the stage of coming to mess up my dad's throne. Hold up. Your father's throne? Wrong. His father's throne. And what are you? The guard to the throne? Don't be parading yourself about this place feeling like a prince because you're not. I know exactly who you are. Don't make me expose you. You heard right. I mean, if your daddy, the king, had confidence in you as a son, he wouldn't come to me to have a real son over here, would he now? You, you want to step into the circle? What will you do? I don't blame you. Only a worthless slot like you will open your worthless legs for a married man. Oh, son, you know that word slut is getting old and I'm getting used to it. You should find another one. All I know is to keep your son away from this place. <laughs> keep him away from this place. You see this drone? It's ours. It belongs to him. Deal with it. Yes. Keep dreaming. <laughs> you bitch. Ndishi, please help me. I'm in trouble. My son is missing. No? My son, she became more. Calm down. Calm down. Chief. What do you mean by your son is missing? Is he a toy? He left home since yesterday. And as I'm talking to him, he has not returned. He went to visit a friend. And up to now, he has not returned. I had even gone to that friend. And he said he has not come to his place. This is serious. But calm down. Have you contacted the police? He's the one calling. 
Is it Malcolm? Hello? Speak. Hello? Chibikam? Chibikam? Are you alright? At the back of the community primary school. What are you doing there? Are you okay? That I should come immediately. She became. She became. <sighs> he said I should come immediately at the back of the community primary school. The way he sounded, I need to go there immediately. <sighs> Let's go. It's a tragedy. It's a pity. It's a pity. But who could have committed this crime? This terrible evil. Who, who could have done this? Chibike. Chibike Mwam. I warned you to stay away from those boys. But you would not listen. Now they have killed you. They have killed my son. They have killed him. Who, who, who are they? Who else? If not those criminals who call themselves the sons of the Iwe. They are responsible for the death of the son. Please, don't let another ear hear it. Please. Loka. I will shout. I can even say it in the open market. They were responsible for the death of my son. You know these boys. Don't allow them to bring trouble to you. You hear? They killed my son. They murdered my son. And they cannot deny it. Wait. This is Anna. 
The guy I promised to interest. This guy is good. I don't want to start singing his praises, but all I can tell is that the guy is all you need. He is good. He's good, huh? Of course he is. <gasps> Listen, babe. There's a kind of guy I need. I need I need a rough dude, right? Someone rough and tough. Someone who is gangster. Like a street boy. You know that a few days ago someone was smoked. And I'm suspecting one of those guys, if not both of them. Alright? So I need someone that you know this. I know exactly what you want, and that is what I've given to you. And the my word he's putting in. He is good. This guy is more than dangerous. He has worked for so many prominent people in this country. Hmm. He is good. Madam. I'm not a man of too many words. I believe action speaks louder than words. Contact me when your mind is made up. You can reach me through your friend. Hello, my dear, you from? From Her Majesty and this chamber. Why do you ask? Just tell you the secret. The princesses are getting jealous mm -hmm. because you give any more attention than anyone else. Well, I just need to tell you you need to be careful of yourself and how you do this. Okay? That is your own headache. As you can see, I'm discharging my duties as I should. Hmm? Anyway, thank you very much. Um. My queens, I have been delegated by the elders to formally announce to you that Barista Fabian reached us on phone to tell us that he has arrived to the country and that he will be here in two days' time to read out the will of late Igwe. So please, Endeavor to be here with your children. Please. Thank you, Chief. We will make sure our kids are here. Thank you very much. Thank you. I beg you, I beg you, please don't sack me, please. Oloma, take a good look at yourself. We picked you up from the gutters and cleaned you up. Just because of a common hole that appeared from nowhere, you suddenly diverted all attention on her, thinking you could play smart on us, right? Come on, just get out. <laughs> My princess. Don't touch me. You good for nothing, fool. Oloma. Oloma. After everything. I'm not talking. Just, 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 just go. Please. Please. She's still here. Please. What are you still doing here? Come on, I said. Thank you. 
good day. How are you? I'm fine. You have a message. Message? Yeah. From who? From post. From the post. Okay. Dear Oloma, how are you today? You left the palace without letting me know. Otherwise, I wouldn't have let you leave. If you're still interested in a job at the palace, come and see me before the 14th of this month so we can discuss your remuneration and other conditions of employment. Oh my God! 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 Good evening, everybody. Sorry, I kept you waiting. My vehicle broke down. I had to look for a mechanic to fix it. Okay. Accepted. Accepted. You're welcome. But please, sit down. Let's go straight to business. You're welcome, man. Hey. What happened to the wheel? I can't find it. What? You can't find what? Um, Barrister, is that a joke or what? The copy of the wheel in your possession. You're saying you can't find it. Uh, no, I don't understand. B B Barrister, you must be kidding. Like... Please tell us you're not serious. Eh? Huh? You go and go and Igwe anwo ala balumbere. Igwe anwo ala balumbere. Well, I played on his intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know, I trade him to the court and waited for him to he got to the clearance. Then I followed him to where he parked his car. And then...
Okay, don't bother yourself. I am already in the country. I'll be there for the case. Of course, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jesus. Flat tire. What happened? My God. Yes, I, I, I've just got a flat tire and I don't know what to do about it. Flat tire? Yes. Oh, 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 this is, this is bad. So what are you planning to do about it? I really don't know, but I think uh, I should call my engineer. No, 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 you don't have to go that far. You just have to look, look around for any organizer around. He can just fix this. I think you're very correct. Yeah, I, and I think I saw one organizer around the corner. Just this area. After this corner? Yeah. Right here? Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Say that again. Now this, I will keep in my custody. For all I know, it just may not be in my favor. Well, nice one. Take it, my nigga. Take it. Take it. You deserve it. <laughs> Listen, guys. There's an invisible war in the atmosphere. And the people we're at war with are unpredictably dangerous. Can you believe that the copy of my dad's will in his barrister's position went magically missing? Yes. And I don't know who's responsible because everyone looks innocent. And they're even ready to do more. That's why I'm here, to prepare your minds. You should be at a lot. Anything can happen at any time. And I want you to be ready to strike. Well, we got your back, Sly. Yes, Sly, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. If 
Sophie disappears, she's out. Phil, sis, what did you say? Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Favor. Sis. Favor. Sis. Forget it. It's nothing. your duty in this palace if not to ensure that the life of every royal member is safe no no we were on guard last night you were on guard last night and somebody came here and took Ellie's son no no i can swear that no one sneaked into this compound last night shut up your mouth for swearing you can swear what you are stupid to, 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 to swear you can swear that nobody came in here then did Ellie's son grow wing and flee away let me tell you, I give you 24 hours. If you don't fish out whatever he is, 24 hours. I roast you alive. I promise you that. He went all over the building. He went all over the building. Get out from here, all of you. Get out. I said, get out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He went all over the building. You were on guard and somebody mm. came here and took away this son. How do we reconcile that? Oh no. What are you talking about? Are you insinuating that we are responsible for Ellen's son's disappearance? I never said that. But there's no way the dark will claim innocence of what happened to the meat kept by the fire. It is a rat at home that tells the one in the bush that there is fish in Nguga. So there's no way you can claim that you don't know what happened to the song of Ellen. Oh no. That's what you should have said. That you are suspecting us. Yes. And if something is not done early enough, police will come in to investigate. And who is afraid of the police? Okay. You are not afraid of police? Yeah. Will they come? Darling, where is my son? 
you and your stupid children cannot claim you don't know where my son is. Where is he? Honestly, I don't know anything about him. Honestly, I don't know. You don't know? About. You don't know? I give you 24 hours from now. If my son is now back, I will wreak havoc in this palace. I guarantee you, all of you, and you, I got my eyes on you. Telling you that I, I don't have any hand in this. I don't know anything about it. Please, I'm begging you. Don't get yourself involved in anything that will harm that little boy. Please. Have you heard me? No, I, I believe he's still alive, okay? And as long as he's still alive, I'm gonna fish him out wherever they're holding him hostage and bring him home. Amo, how possible is it? How possible is this thing you're telling us? Just relax, Felicia. This is what I do, okay? Anonymous caller. No pranks, no police. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hello, excuse me. Nicola just informed me that he had my son and, and that I should bring a ransom of five million naira. He also said I should come to back of stadium. Where is that? I know the place, but, but you, you just pay. So go to the bank right away and you'll take me there. No, no, no. All right? Listen, mother, just calm down, okay? You, Felicia, take me there. I'll handle this. Yes, sister. Stay away from this, all right? You want to mess up everything? Listen, this money means absolutely nothing to me. I value my son's life more than anything in the world. Listen, mother. I said stay out of it. Babe, are you coming? so much. Thank you for today. I'm really very grateful. <laughs> Madam, you don't need to thank me. I was actually doing my job. No. No, I should thank you. I mean, if it wasn't for you, my son would probably be dead by now. Thank you. It's okay. You're welcome. Ma. you do it? Um, well, I knew they were still gonna kill him after taking the money. Because they were really after your son's life. So I went there before you guys took my place before you guys arrived. That was a smart move. Madam, I must advise you 
you must really be more vigilant this time because your son's life is in danger. Yes, and personally, I would advise you leave him under my care for some time because this whole place is no longer safe for him. No. No, I need him with me always. I'm fighting for his right, remember? At the expense of his life. What do you lose him? Well, I'm not going to lose him. I'm not going to lose him. He's fine. He's safe here. And I'll be more careful. That's what you are. Just a little task. Silence the little boy and you couldn't. Even the one that you lost it. This is bullshit. Sh shut up. Just shut the hell up. Shut up. I know exactly what to do with you. Since. Come to yourself. The luckiest guy on earth. Your plan failed. If you had succeeded in eliminating that boy, I would have shown you the beast in me. I want you not to touch that little boy and you disobeyed me. So it has come to a point you now flout my orders. Just thank you, God. Bro, see Damn it. I heard the kidnappers attempted killing the boy. Really? Yes, mom. That's what I heard her telling people. Then how did the boy manage to escape? I don't know. That is the part she refused disclosing to anyone. But I'm sure she went through hell trying to save the life of her child. And she'll be making the worst mistake of her life thinking it's all over now because the worst is yet to come. Now what do you mean by that? Mom, anything can happen. The only thing you can't predict is tomorrow. A favor. I don't know what you're up to. But just make sure you are not planning anything evil against that poor innocent child. Did you get me? Mom, it's not about me. It's about the people after his life. They've not gone on retirement, you know. I'm only sure they've withdrawn to re-strategize. I just said make sure you are not involved. Yes, sir. Agreed. I was wrong to disobey your orders in the first place. But I still want you to see reasons with me. Getting rid of that child is the only way to press home our seriousness about getting that girl off the picture. Believe me when I tell you that that girl is a thorn in our flesh. I strongly believe she's the brain behind the disappearance of the copy of Dad's will in Barrister Fabian's possession. We have to be cautious if not she's going to get at us. She's very desperate, you know. She's desperate, but I... What is it? Nothing.
Uh, please, our daughters, we understand how all of you feel. Your reactions were justified. In fact, anybody in your shoes will react the same way. But please, we are craving your indulgence. Do not go. We are going to put everything in order. Please. Please, Nayonobu. We're sorry to disobey you. We can no longer stay here. Since the safety of our lives is no longer a guarantee. Please. We have to go. We're sorry. Do not go. Please. We are going to assure you one thing. That whoever was responsible for that act will not go free. Yes. Be him a man, woman, boy or girl, the person will be brought to book. Please, don't go. We are going to put things in order like I said before. Please, don't go please. Get down. We'll put things in order like I said. Go. Chill down, chill down. We'll take care of everybody. I think one of you guys. Go. Things are going on in the palace right now. Your babe. Babe, that place is hot. There's a whole lot of drama going on there right now. A whole lot. And now, that place has become too hot for my son to continue staying. So, I decided to bring him to you with a firm conviction that he'll be safe with you. I really don't want a repeat of that ordeal. My dear, you don't have to worry yourself about anything, okay? Your son will be safe with me. I'm glad you made up your mind. Come here, yes, come here, come here. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, there's something I haven't told you. See, I left London and came back here to fight for my son's bed right. I mean, he cannot be proclaimed a bastard when he has a father. Yeah. And truth is, my parents never approved of us coming here. And I left them a promise. I said to them that we'll be fine. And every time, they want to know how it's going down here. And I've been telling a whole lot of lies. I've been covering my ass. I've been going on like, yeah, we good, everything is fine, everything is in order. And deep down, I would not want to risk my son's life. My folks would never, ever forgive me if anything goes wrong with Junior. Junior is my life. I love this boy with all I got. So please, babe. Do this for me. Like I said, don't worry. Your son is safe with me. Come here, baby. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, mommy is going on a brief travel just for a few days. And you stay with Auntie Felicia here. You know she's been nice to us. Yes. Yeah, she's been very nice to us. So you stay here, she take good care of you. I'll come back soon and I'll buy you a lot of goodies. Okay? Yes, mom. Did you miss mommy? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'll give me some sugar. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Very good. Oh, babe. Yeah. You've been so worried and concerned about your son. What about you? Now, nah, babes. I'll be fine. Don't worry. At least the indisputable fact is that I've been pushed to the wall. I have had it up to here. And now, I will show them the stuff I am made of. Yes, I will. Frankly speaking, I can't make head or tail of what you are talking about. Oh no, 
Don't tell me that you don't understand what I'm saying because I'm being straightforward. If you were straightforward, I would have understood you. Listen, you don't expect me to perceive the offensive odor of the excreta in your stomach. It's only when you pass it out that you expect me to pass it the other. Oh no, don't play smart with me. Don't play smart with me. Being smart? I am not being smart. I'm being frank with you. What are you talking about? Oh no, you made me a promise. You told me that you would make sure that those people would leave the palace. What is preventing you from fulfilling that? What is stopping you? Just imagine the terror they have unleashed on my family and on the kingdom in extension. What are you waiting for? Blood shedding is not part of the history of this family. What other evidence do you want? Hold it, my friend, please. It's true I made such a promise, but I want to uh, 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 let you know that it's a gradual process. Just stop that rubbish. Stop that stupid story. We had a deal. You must fulfill that promise or no. Okay. We I'm are going sorry. to work it out. Please. Oh no. We're going to work it out. There is tension. Tension in the air. Bad situation. Problems everywhere. There were once united, now divided. Everybody do his own. Some do it for the money, some do it for the throne Everybody wants to get some mm. From the body of a king Everybody wants to gain something mm. From the death of a king Looking for fortune, looking for power Looking for gold and silver It's a deadly game to play It's a shame The body of a king which of you must have eaten a mother's kidnap? Which of you would like to eat a mother's Madness is if I don't see my mother right now. <laughs> then you better start displaying now because I know nothing about your mother. Not a punk ass like you that does nothing but go about initiating criminal activities. I'm busy. I have reasonable things to do with my time. And don't you for one second think that I'm ignorant of the fact that you engineered the kidnap and attempted murder of my son. I may be silent. But I'm no coward. That is why you engineered the disappearance of my mother, right? Uh, what are you talking about? I have no idea of what you're saying. Helen, let nothing happen to my mother. Mm. Let me advise you, son. You love your mother? You want to see her again? You better get out there and institute the search for her. Don't be here pointing fingers or pointing your empty gun. I'm innocent. Get that into your dumb skull. Feel free to call me names. But for your own sake, I hope my mother is okay. Like I said, you better set a search for her. And be fast about it. Delay could be dangerous, you know. I mean, for all we know, she may be dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? <gasps> or not? <laughs> Inspector, please, please do whatever you can. Please, to find our mother and rescue her. Please, you will be handsomely rewarded, please. My prince, there's nothing to worry about. We are now involved. Um, we are going to handle this with our very best. And I promise to give you a positive result. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have anyone as a suspect? Because uh, it's going to help us in our investigation. Well, Inspector, everyone is a suspect. Everyone, every living thing in this palace is a suspect. The maidens, the guards, the goats, the flowers, everyone is a suspect. They all masterminded this. I see. Thank you very much for your assistance. I don't know what to do. I beg to take my leave. <laughs> You will hear from me. All right, dear. thank you, man. It's okay. Thank you. There is tension, tension in the air. Bad situation, problems everywhere. There were once united, now divided. Everybody to his own. Some do it for the money, some do it for the throne Everybody wants to get some mm. From the body of a king Everybody wants to gain some mm. From the death of a king Looking for fortune, looking for power Looking for gold and silver It's a deadly game Phones are switched off. What is the meaning of this? Mom, honestly, I'm confused. I don't know. How could she have left this house since morning for shopping and not yet come back by now? Even if you stop over to visit a friend, fine. But she should have called to tell us that. Oh, God. Why switch off her phones? Why? Something has gone wrong somewhere. Scar free. 
in it. Or you thought you would just succeed like that. <laughs> well, newsflash. I will teach you never to mess with a tiger's tail, dead or alive. You know, you have just triggered the bitch in me. And now, I will show you the stuff I have made up. What do you want? <laughs> damn, man. You were so reasonable like that. I, I didn't think you had it in here. Look at that. Well, what I want is real simple. I need a guarantee. I mean, just a little guarantee that my son's life and mine are safe. That's simple. That's all I want. Then I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Oh, look at you, you're so sweet. So damn sweet. But honey, the ball is not in the court. I mean, it's not your decision to make. Instead, it's that of your sons to make. Connect me to them so I can speak with them. No, 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 no. Not at all. You know why? I don't think he will see them again. Neither will they hear from you again. No. No, Ellen, please. Please get me out of this place. Please, please. You don't have to get me out of this place. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Please. Enough of this nonsense. So many atrocities going on in this palace. Stealing, murder, kidnap. And every one of you are claiming innocence. If not members of this royal household, who else? Who? Who else? Naya Achebe, direct that question to that disgusting horse sitting over there. Direct it to her. She is responsible for the disappearance of my mother and possibly responsible for the disappearance of Favor too. Excuse me, sir. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your freaking mind? Please, just release those in your custody, okay? Oh, honey. I don't know what you're talking about. And just so you know, let this be the last time you would raise your voice and call me names. And if I call you names, what are you going to do? Slide, slide. What would you do? Slide, slide, slide. It's okay, it's okay. I am dumbfounded. I am flabbergasted. Does it mean there's no respect for elders again? You can see? No respect. What does it mean? No respect. You can see that. What does it mean of this? That elders of our caliber in this kingdom are not respected? Answer me the question. There's fire burning. Instead of quenching the fire, you are inflaming it. Enough of this place. Enough. I don't know why we are still reluctant up to this moment. We all heard about the message passed on to us yesterday by the king's brotherhood, mandating this family to resolve their dispute. Let me tell you people, the earlier the truth is told, the better for the whole of us. Mm. Eh? I also want to plead with whosoever that is responsible for the abduction to please release them. Not only that, 
They will too. I believe one of us has it. That should not be excluded. My princess, you are right. The will is also important. But it's very difficult at this time to single out someone and accuse him or her of all this. But I believe the person knows himself. Let's be honest here. We can excuse all this as an act of ignorance, especially at this moment of peace. Now the big question is, are we all in support of this peace initiative? Yes. Are we? I know why I'm asking. Because I am the prime target here. I know y'all want to kick me out as quickly as you can. I know. Y'all was here when my son was abducted and almost killed. I mean, if he were dead, Lord knows we won't be here talking bullshit. But, do you want bygones? Yeah, I can work with that. I have the will. And also, dear mom. Oh, what about my daughter? Yes, yes, uh, my, my sister. Ma'am, I don't know nothing about your daughter. Then who, if not you? I don't freaking know. Beautiful damsel. All this was supposed to end today, here and now. But for the sake of what's on the ground, I've decided to let you go. You're lucky. <laughs> but not without a strong warning. Let it not be quoted anywhere that I, Sly, know anything of this. Did you get that? You are a beast! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Scuba, let her go. Yes, boss. My princess. Let's have some of you time together. You're a bastard! It is important that you, you surrender whatever you have against one another at this point before the speed. Um, Barrister, as you can see, we are all now in peace. We've settled our cause. That's why you have the lost wheel in you. Good. As you can see, this first copy was tempered with, so I can't read it. I got this second copy from the probate registry this morning. I intend to read. Is that the original copy? Yes. I 
for it. This is the last will and testament of Igwe Ike Ozerumba, the true history of my biological family and properties. I want three billion naira in cash, six billion naira in assets, including two textile companies, six estates, 15 automobiles, and 14 supermarkets at the time of my death. That my eldest son, who is also the heir to my throne, Roy Ike Ozerumba. What? My <laughs> You sit there and insinuate that my husband will, will make this this bastard of a nobody out of you. You shut up. Excuse me. Look, from now onwards, you have to address me with some respect, okay? You wish. No, I wouldn't take such rubbish from you. Please, and I'm in. Okay. Take such nonsense from you again. Calm down. You know what, y'all? Enjoy your happy moment while it lasts. Coming back to you. Please. Nonsense! Bro. Bro. Igwe. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> now this is the right time to celebrate. Uh, at least we have been vindicated. You can say that again. <laughs> Honestly, son, this calls for it. Let's see what at least will bring peace to our family. Why not? You'll see now very soon. Very soon everyone will be calling you. Igwe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Today is the happiest day of my life. Mm. Yes. All this while we've been here. My mind has not been at rest. I was afraid that your father might not have had you in his will. We shared the same feelings, man. True. Yeah. Thank God. But these people, they are not happy. They don't believe the will. <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy. They don't need to believe the will. The most important thing is that dad's will has been read to the hearing of everyone. Mm -hmm. Sure, I agree with Sly. You're wrong. The mention of Roy's name got them infuriated. You see those high chiefs? They are having secret plans. Plans? Yes. Like what? Removing the kinship from our family because of lack of peace amongst us. What? Does it mean these people are truly part of this family? I can't believe this. But I told you guys before. I told you not to jump into conclusions. But how could dad hide such a thing from mom? Mom said he never told her of it. Favor, listen. The truth is that dad was such a secretive and unpredictable person. And a womanizer. Yes. That's the story of Ellen. Does it mean you believe the will? Hey! Why shouldn't I? It's not gonna happen. Something has to be done about this whole rubbish. There is tension. If we write such a will, does it mean that my dream has been destroyed? No. I can still achieve it. I can still exploit the crisis in the palace to my advantage. Yes, I can do it. You were all about me. 
Igwe Ango Alagbalo Mmeri. Telling you this because of the love I have for your family and for you in particular. I would love to see you sit on that throne as the next ego of this kingdom. But I'm afraid you will lose it if care is not taken. Why? My prince, do you know who is so desperate to sit on that throne? Odo. Yes, my prince. He is convincing the elders using the problem you have in your family to convince the elders. Telling us that you are not capable of ruling the community, the kingdom. Even he has gone to the extent of trying to convince us to take custody of your father's corpse. Yes, thereby frustrating you from being crowned the king. So what do you suggest I do? My prince, they want to play on your intelligence. So I suggest that we take your father's corpse and keep it in your possession. Thereby leaving us with no other choice than to listen to you. We may even go ahead and cry you king before your father is buried. Yes. yes. But that's not possible. I mean, that goes against the tradition of our people. We can't crown the king before my father's burial. Oh, oh. Don't bother yourself about that one. Who else are the custodians of customs and tradition in this community if not us? Just play your part and leave the rest for me to handle. Okay. Play your part. Okay. Leave the rest for me to handle. Thank you very much. Thank you, my boss. Everybody wants to get some From the body of a king Everybody wants to gain something From the death of a king Looking for fortune Looking for power Looking for gold and silver It's a deadly game to play It's a shame I think the chief is right That is the best solution Yeah, that's the best thing to do Although that corpse was not deposited in my name, but as the heir apparent, I think I should have legal access to that corpse. We'll take the corpse from that mortuary to a private place that is exclusively under our control. Let's be there tomorrow. Okay. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Open the boot. Move it. Move it. Move. Fast about that. 
Move it. Hey, this way. Don't you know that the shrine of the kingdom is the king's resting place if it's not buried or kept in a mortuary? What do you mean? Chineke! Okay. Udo? Udo? Wait, wait, wait. Udo? Udo? Udo, wait, wait, wait now, Udo! Udo! Emeka, do you even listen to yourself at all? That the both of us, we should go and steal a corpse. I would not even know how that cause managed to get there. Eh? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. However, that casket got there is none of our business. What we should be concerned about is the mega money that is in that we are going to make from that casket. Do you know how much is that is in that casket? See, if we should steal that casket now, eh? Whatever amount of money we request from the family as a ransom, they will pay it. You don't know. I make you right too. But my fear is that that cause might harm us. It might harm us. Harm us. Why would it harm us? Do you do any evil? After all, we we'll finally hand it over to the family. And besides, they say the dead has no power over the living. You don't know. I believe you, Emeka. I believe you. But the both of us alone, we can't carry the corpse. We need the face to help us out. What do you think? It's true. You're right. We need the face. We need the face. Because two of us cannot carry it. That thing is heavy. Two of us cannot carry it. We can't carry it. The face. We need to meet the face. Ndijie, I invited you to inform you that my father's corpse was forcefully 
taken from my custody this afternoon by some hoodlums. What? How did your father's cops get into your custody in the first place? We got information that some hoodlums wanted to take the cops from the mortuary just to disorganize our family and the entire kingdom. Why didn't you inform the elders before you did so? It was urgent. We got the information and we acted immediately. Yet, they attacked us on the way. What sort of thing is this? What has befallen this kingdom? Every new day comes with a new style of our atrocity. Are you sure about this? Honestly, I, I, I just told you the truth. That was exactly how it happened. This is terrible. Felicia, how possible is this? My dear, it's very possible. Because that man is a well-known occultic man. Were you not the one that told me that his occultic people came to the palace the other day? Yeah. My dear, they are very powerful and they can do incredible things. Even when he's dead? That's when their power manifests most, especially in this type of case, when their corpse is being tampered with. You guys just come off it. I don't believe that bullshit, all right? All that African voodoo and superstitious crap. You know, you need to get ahead of yourself. It's not real. Madam, you better believe it, okay? Because I've witnessed it myself. Okay. So then where is it? He went back to the morgue, yeah? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't think it's possible. Then where the hell is it? I can't tell. I can't tell for now. Listen. You need to go out there and find it. Find it? Yes, find it! Find it before those bastards let your hands on it. Find it. You better find it. But seriously, guys, I still maintain we should be prepared for anything in terms of eventualities. Seriously. What do you mean? See this guy. How do I mean? Yes. Wait. You think you, you just call these people and tell them that you have the cops in your possession? Then you expect them to bring the money. That is any amount of money you request for. Is it that easy? This guy is mad, though. Tell me, why won't they bring it? A corpse that has been declared missing. A man of such class. The entire kingdom, not even the family alone, is ready to pay for anything requested. Anything? But seriously, I still maintain that we should be careful. I'm saying this to avoid implicating ourselves. So, remember, the news has it that it was some hoodlums. That snatch it away from the Igwe son. Let them not begin to see us as a people. Though. See, guy, guy, it's even better that way. Huh? Yes, it's better. So that we bring more money. That's why I like it. Uh -uh. Fight, we we can't claim rugged now. We can't claim rugged. Rugged, wait, yes, rugged. Now. The three of us. Yes. Yes. Don't you want the money? No, wait, 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 wait. Because he gets more baby. Wait, 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 wait. I beg, how much? No, no, just stop. How much? Um, yes. 500k. It makes sense now. You do. You do. I'm highly disappointed with this guy. Which kill man? So I'll fight this guy. As your face be like this. Do you want to, you want to remain poor in life? I'll Stay fight this guy. Away. I beg, Udo, I beg, tell me, tell me what question I want. I want to hear. Yeah, Guys, listen. Let's have it at the back of our mind that what you have in there is millions of naira. Mm -hmm. Let's start now to think in millions. Did you guys hear me? I think we should be them 20 million. That is the spirit. 20 guinea! You heard me right. 20 million. For, for this village? What is 20 guinea? See, uh, 20 million is even small, sir. Huh? 20 million is small. But, guys, if you ask me, I think we should, let us start with 15 million. Guys! It makes sense, that guy, check out. 15, okay. 5, 5, 5, 5. Oh boy, that goes million, yeah. She makes it. But is it possible they'll bring it? Why would they bring it? Oh, but it makes sense now. Let's see the talk. But guys, wait. How do we get any of the real households 
phone number. I know your problem now. I know your problem. You remember all I'm on my bed now? Yeah. Okay. She's one of the palace ministers. Uh, I, just, I, just, I just control the chick. Now. All right, relax. On that level, Wait, nah. I guess special for that one. I just control the chick. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know how much. I'm going to go buy me this thing now. I don't collect the number. You know what? We never bring money. One man can go buy for me. Okay, the number and the money which are first. Who could be responsible for this? Who? There's no other person but Ellen. Ellen? Ellen? How? Please. Don't tell me you're still underestimating that girl. I mean, her record so far should convince you of what she's capable of doing. Okay, did you believe that she was the one with a copy of Dad's will? How did she get it? How? How did she get into Mom's room and kidnap her? I'm sure those guys are working for her. You could have a point there, though. Of course I'm right. Look, just give me the permission to take care of her once and for all before she gets at us. She's becoming too dangerous. Could it not be possible that Law Law is responsible for this? No, no. It's Ellen. I'm very sure of that. Now what's, look, 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 whoever, but the most important thing is how do we recover these cops from whoever has the custody of it? Leave it to me. I'll take care of it. Hope you're enjoying the cattle. Don't worry yourself, okay? When I go out, I'll get you another interesting one. Why are you so quiet, Madeline? Are you okay? Do you care for something? Coke, cake, video make bobo, anything? Okay. Let me know when you're hungry, okay? Fine boy. <laughs> oh. Just take you to the hospital. Come on. Can you stand? Come on. It's okay, sorry. Come on. Let me take you to the hospital. Come on, Junior. It's okay. Junior. Come on. Go. Stand. Um, Inspector, that corpse has to be recovered. And if you ask me who my first suspect is, it's Ellen. By her records. But, uh, what does she need the cops for? To frustrate me. Of course. What else? She just wants to make sure that I do not ascend my father's throne. Interesting. Inspector, the high chiefs are not happy with this family. They are not happy with us. And it's my son's best right that is at stake here. Please. Madam, you don't need to worry about anything. I will do my very best. And since we already have a suspect, I will know how to handle it. Thank you. Please hasten up. I guess this is the opportunity she's been looking for. But it's not going to work for her. Never. Those hoodlums that carried your father's corpse just called, requesting for a ransom of 15 million naira. Are you serious? So what do we do? I'm going to the bank with the bank. No, 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 no. They don't go with me. See, I'll go with the guys. You don't know them. I don't know them either. You don't even know what they have in mind, okay? So just stay. I'm going with the guys. I'll catch it now. I'll see you later. All right, mom, go well. Madam, this is not about recovering that corpse, okay? It's about how to do it. I mean, this man is evil. You should have seen what happened on that day. 
was deeply spiritual. So what are you saying? That's impossible to recover? That's exactly how it is, madam. You know, I should have said so a long time ago. You should have told me you were a chicken. Look at you, you're all scared and shivering already. Madam, you too would have been scared if you had seen what happened that day. Oh, come on, man, come on! Don't bail on me now. Don't do that. I mean, you know how important this corpse is to me. I'll be very doomed if those idiots get it before me. So please, please, please and please, get it for me. Just, just get it. Whatever it takes, I don't mind, I'll pay you. You just name your price. Madam, this is not about the money, okay? Then what is it about? What? Madam, I just wish you would understand better. Hey! You two guys don't have money. I'll take a go. See! Homa! To let you lose. Homa, three! Hey! I'll be able to go beat me again now. Two guys don't have money for villa. Hey! See that one. You see that one. You see that one. Join this. You won't point it. Don't give guys money now. Don't give guys money. Don't have money. Hey! See ya. Don't be angry with us, eh? I know you understand. Don't be angry with us now. Guys just need me. You understand? Hey! Your majesty, you're on point. You don't give guys money. You don't scatter. Stop money now. Hey! You don't... Hey! How much is there? We kept it. It was it, it was here. Guys! Guys! Did any of you remove that casket from there? No. It was here a few minutes ago now. You not took it. Are you trying to play with my intelligence or something? No, your mother's What are you talking about? God, guys. Hey, <clears throat> nice idea we for end today. Nice idea we don't end finish. Hey, Emeka, where's the money? She took it to. Huh? She did what? She wanted to seize me and I had to let go of the money. <coughs> hey, Emeka, don't fuck up. Hey, Emeka, don't fuck up. Now you should have held that money. Now you should have held it. Trying to tell me that the sleepless nights, the plans, the suffering, everything, just in vain. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Guy, ask him. This guy has destabilized my plans now. Come on, turn the fire, you. 
thunder go fire your mouth. So, you want me to end up in prison? Is, is that what you're planning to Take time. Take, just take time. Tell Amo, take time. You see, I have the mouth to talk. Guys, it seems to want be no. We are talking of money, we are talking of prison. Was that why you let go of the money? Let me ask you. If you, if both of you see Casket disappear, will you stay? Me? Will you have stayed? I will stand. I will not run. I will not run now. Yeah, you know me now. Yeah, I know you. I will run? No, no, no. When we got there, we didn't see the coffin. Are you serious? What is it? What is it? What is it? I saw it. You saw what? 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 What?
I regarded you as my brother. I thought I could trust you. You are the only person I confided in. The only thing I begged of you on my dying bed was to locate my sons and bring them back home. The situation can still be remedied, please. I'm sorry. Please, sorry, Your Majesty. It is too late. We have already caused a lot of damage. Your Majesty, but like I said earlier, please don't harm me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. The only option you have left is to confess. Oh boy, play job. Eh? Oh boy, collect. I'm a collect too. Oh, nah, nah, easy now. Nah. Oh, you don't finish. Nothing. See my, where your ID card, guy? You don't win. I don't win. Ah, uh, yeah, you. Oh boy, you go pack all the home money. Yeah. Nah, 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 Guy, bring this boy. Guy, go down. Wait. Bring the money. Money be your money. Let's go there. Where your money? Come, best player. Raise me small. Raise me. Yeah, don't come for. See me for yeah. I'm gonna see this guy. I'm a guy. Raise me five hundred. Now, guy, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come for. Now, I don't want to money. I'm gonna put my money for pocket now. Oh, good. Yeah, now. Yeah, boy. Yeah, let me fight now. Again, I love you. You find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am sorry. Very, very sorry. 
Here is the letter he gave me. He gave me this letter. I want to say that all of you must live in peace. Oh no, we've heard you. And we assure you that we will continue to live in peace and harmony. Um, we've also forgiven you. I... I thank... I... I... I thank... I thank... No! Oh no! Oh no! find it and we don't even know where to find it we know you can help us find it please help us find it and we will do anything to appease it we're, we're, we're really very sorry for everything You're under arrest for the murder of Chibiki Febo and the law man is What the hell are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. How dare you lay such an allegation with me? How dare you? Cobra! Bring him. Is this not one of your accomplices? Huh? You know that guy? Sly. Sly? You had always denied that you were at the scene of Polo Masma. But your fingerprints were all over the modern weapon. Sly. Say something. God. We have just buried our father, and I believe that we have buried him alongside our problems, our bitterness, all our differences. We can forge a new life of peace and harmony. Let us all learn from Sly's experience to know that there is no quest for power that is worth the shedding of any person's blood. I mean, whatever God has ordained to be must surely be. I want you to know that I hold no bitterness against anybody. I love you. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you.